Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, in the last alphabet channel, we did letter A, and we did applicates. Uh, today, I think we're gonna do another alphabet challenge, and we're gonna do B, and we're gonna do bags. I don't know, like I said in the last alphabet challenge video, um, I'm not sure what everybody else did for their letters. Um, I'm just gonna kind of do whatever pops into my head for each letter, which I don't know if that's okay because I really don't know the rules of this thing. I just know that I saw Miss Gayla doing it and I was like, oh my gosh, that looks like so much fun. And I know that it's been around for a minute. Um, and I did not originate this. I just want to get that out there. I didn't. I didn't do that. I'm just doing it. Um, so anyway, I got these really, really pretty bags from Miss Caroline, and I'm going to use a couple of these to do the alphabet challenge. So, um, I guess we'll just go ahead and start. I have one out, because I wanted to see basically if I could do it. Um, so, it's on 30 minutes. We're just going to start. Okay, I have no idea what I'm going to do with this thing, um, because I, like always, am never prepared. So, let me try to figure out, um, this is really great. Oh, and this is really soft, too. So, I think I'm going to have to count these before I put them on the shelf, because I'm fixing to use some of them. Bloop. I need this so I can cut off exactly a yard. That way, I don't have to count it. I can just minus a yard. Um, probably should have done that before I started the clock. But, you know, I don't think about these things. But isn't that pretty? This is actually kind of more like a green. It's showing up blue, but it's not. It's green. So, I'm actually going to... this right yeah um i think i'm gonna put it like that because my goal is to kind of make this part a little stronger so i'm gonna put that right there actually i wonder this here and then this here. Yep, I like that. Okay. So I'm just gonna use some seam binding. And you could probably like hand sew this if you wanted to. But it's a bag. And this is the opening of the bag. So I'm not sure how you would do that. I mean, other than hand sewing. I know some people really like the sewn, sewn look. And I do. I like it. But my sewing machine is not readily available all of the time. So I probably don't use it near as much as I should. Or as much as I would like to. How about that? That's a better way of wording that. Alright. So now I'm going to take this. And this is like super. When I got this, I was like, oh, it's so soft and so elegant and delicate. Oh, I should probably be using glue, hot glue for this, so it grabs quicker. Yeah, we're going to use hot glue because it's just like, nah. nope, I'm not going to work for you today. There we go. Much better. So anchor that down and then and these can be, these are not necessarily meant to be like page um, or journal covers but more of like inserts into completed journals. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? But I want the pocket to be able to be used 
So I wanted to make sure that this part was nice and reinforced. So there's that. This is still open. I haven't decided if I'm going to close that down or not. I have this really pretty applique that I used part of when I did the alphabet challenge A. Let's put you down. Ah, don't touch that. That's hot. keep touching it with the same finger. That's what I'm telling you, man. I told you guys in the last video, a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, I don't know how you function with long nails. I don't know how y'all function without them. I miss my nail tools. Miss Pam says finger tools. I say nail tools. Because I'd rather use my nails than my fingers because, ouch, fingers get burned. Although I don't use my nails for like painting. That's silly. Although I'm kind of curious as to what kind of textures you would come up with if you were like scratching the painting. You know how like you do jelly plate, uh, jelly plate, jelly plating, jeez, tall plating. Um, and you use different tools and such to get like that scratchy texture. I bet your nails would do the same thing. It'd be fun trying to clean them afterwards, but you can do it. All right. And that is down. All right. Oh, that's actually really pretty. Um, you know, I bet I have some images I could use. Wait, hold that. I don't know what I've got cut out. I actually have some things cut out, but I'm not sure what I have cut out. Because I can't very well have digitals ready, like, ready cut out digitals if I don't cut them out and use them myself. Ooh, aren't you pretty? You are pretty. I like you. I have like glue stuck to me. Come here. I like that. I like that a lot. Alright, so I'm gonna glue this down with Fabri-Tac, not hot glue. Because paper to paper, you want to use like a wet glue, glue stick. I mean, you could use Elmer's glue stick and it would probably be a better idea than hot glue. Hot glue will just peel it on paper to paper. Now, obviously, it depends on the texture of the paper. For every rule, there is an exception. And I say that term very loosely because there's no rules in crafting. And I like that there's no rules in crafting. Alright. Now, I'm going to go back and I'm going to re glue here where I tore it up because I wanted it over the picture and not under it. Ow! Warm. Hey, that 
It's a little, little warm there. Okay. What do you think? And that is just an image out of my digitals. Um, um, sorry, I was trying to think of what to say. So it's in my Miladies digital kit. It's in one of them. Um, but I decided to break up the digitals because someone had once told me that, you know, it was a little high, the price, and that it would be better to break it apart and make it cheaper. And so I listened. Um, I'm not sure ah, if it was actually a good idea or not. I'll let y'all know, because I feel like I sold more of them when it was one big kit than when it was separated. So y'all will have to let me know what you think, because y'all are the customers too, not just one person. And I'd be interested to see what people say. Do you want one big kit that has everything in it, or do you want, do you want it broken down into pieces? And all I did was glue that flap down right here to make it where you could use the pocket. So that's one. Probably spent a lot of time on that. Um, here is another, hello. Here is another bag. Um, we're gonna make this into a double pocket. So we're gonna fold this up here. And we're gonna fold this down. Here. And I'm going to glue this inside there, just like I did with the other one. Okay. But anyway, yeah, y'all are going to have to let me know what you think. Um, I'm curious. I mean, I know what my sales and my demographics say, but... I don't know. I'm always curious as to what you guys think, too. So. I'm going to put that there. I kind of want to put it there, too. What are you going to look like if I put you on both? Ah. Uh, I think I just wanted on that one. Alright, let's try to figure out an image before. Oh, that one's vertical. So you could do a side like that. I'll just do it like that. That takes up a lot of space. Ooh, I like that one. I like this one though because it matches with the green here. I know it's showing up blue, but. And this is from my Birds of a Feather kit, uh, if you're wondering. Ooh, that one's pretty. I like that one. Ooh, I like that. That's cool. So many options. Now the, the heads get covered up. I don't want that. Oh, that one, the head will get covered up on that one too. That one too. Alright, so it looks like it's going to be this one. So, excuse you, glue. how stressed you are for time and doing something like this. Like you normally work at a certain speed anyway, but it's just weird how that works, you know? I don't know. I guess I'm just weird like that. I like that. I don't know if I'm going to like it after I put this on it, but 
Maybe I should just leave it up there. I know y'all are going to yell at me as soon as I make one decision. You're going to be like, no, put it the other way. I think I kind of like that up there. All right, we're going to do the seam binding again. doing an accelerated course for ninth grade. Oh my gosh, that kid. Oh, I mean, I did some schoolwork when I was his age. I had straight A's, you know, out of 4.0 all the way through, you know, for a while. And uh, even when I was getting my master's in psychology, I was still out of 4.0. You know, it's just my work ethics for school specifically were very high and he is his is too and this kid's only 13 years old he wants to go to MIT and so what we've done because we had contemplated you know putting him back in public school keeping him in homeschool you know what were we gonna do and after talking to a friend of mine she was just like no girl you need to keep him in homeschool because we did our son graduated high school at 17 with a bachelor's degree. I was like, wah! So I started thinking about that and I found this program. It's called Monarch. And it's a, uh, it's a Christian based school. Um, but what I like about it is, um, I know I'm probably going to get a lot of hate mail for this, but what I like about it is, is you can choose whether or not you um, do the Christian study. So, for instance, my son is not doing it, but my youngest daughter is because she asked to do it. Because I asked her very specifically, do you want to do Bible class? And she's like, yes. So I was like, okay. And she's doing very well in it. I think she's got like an 85. She's doing very well in it. Anyway, I really like this uh, program. It, uh, it does the curriculum for you. Or it makes the curriculum for you and does the lesson assignments and everything. Basically, what you have to do is um, if there's a written assignment, then you need to grade that. But it does give you notes and such on, like, like if you don't know anything about that particular subject, you wouldn't be like, oh my gosh, I, to, I don't know how to grade this. It'll tell you what the right answer is or what the right answer should include, you know, stuff like that. Um, so you don't have to be like a super genius. Because, uh, goodness knows, I am not. I mean, I'm smart. I am very smart. But I am not a super genius. Porter is taking nine classes his freshman year in high school. And on top of that, at the the rate that he's the the set time that he's on he will finish his ninth grade year by september like how crazy is that assuming that he does you know everything the way he's supposed to and you know stays on course but i mean he's doing really well I'm proud of him. I'm a proud mommy. I think you should be proud of your kids regardless of, you know, what they're doing. Good, bad, pretty, ugly. It doesn't matter. I think you should always be proud of your kids. And that comes from a personal experience type of thing. I don't think a mother's love should be conditional. Like, you should, like, your mother only loves you if, you know, you do this, that, or another. I don't think you should be like that. But who am I? I am not Mother Teresa. I am no one. 
That's just my own personal opinion about my own personal experience. It's a uh, it is definitely an interesting and eye-opening world that we live in, for sure. Oh, I guess I shouldn't have glued that part. That was off the edge. Am I off camera? No, good. Okay. Alright. There we go. Oh, I like that so much. I think I want to put, I need something across here. Oh my gosh, my printer just made a noise at me and it scared the crap out of me. I swear, I'm so jumpy now. It is crazy. I actually kind of like that on top instead. I don't know. We'll figure something out. Um, let's see. Ew, pretty. Let's do one of these little doohickeys. Put you there. And then you there. I dig it. All right. What do you think? I don't know. I think I kind of like it plain up there. You're going to have to let me know. Ah, my glue. Let go of my sticks. I put my sticks in this little jar. And now they won't let go. Alright, let's see here. Alright, so flip over. And these are just little doilies. Little tiny doilies. I'm gonna piece them together. And make a shush you. And make a little flowerette with little doilies. Like it was just cut apart. Like I didn't cut it apart. I obtained them like this. That is a lot of work. You know how much work that takes to cut doilies apart like that? To cut anything apart like that. Whether it's lace pieces, appliques, oh my gosh, wedding dresses. Ah! Have you ever taken apart a wedding dress? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That, you need some patience to do something like that. I've taken apart one dress completely and another dress partially. I'm like, nope, mm -mm, I'm good. I will buy it from now on, completely disassemble. I still have three more dresses to take apart. But I'm just like, mm, mm You can't pay me enough to do that. I think it's just my hands. Isn't that cool? I really like that. And then that's a pocket. Eek. Or it could be a flip. Yeah. Well, it doesn't sit like that. Or you could make it go on your page that you know we could do it sideways Ooh, let's do another one and go sideways let's make this one a pocket yeah so pocket there and then this one is also a pocket and and then this one is also a pocket if it unglues itself from itself. Let go of my bag. Okay, no, go back to the bag. I said let go, but not that part. All right, so there's that part. So there's another bag. Let's make another bag. Boy. All right. So let's go this route this time. I feel like I'm going to sneeze. Maybe not. Okay. Alright. And I glue this part. 
card in. Stick. All right. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna make it go this way, I think. Um, I need to make sure that it's big enough. Or not too big, rather. Actually, it should be fine. Because if you fold a sheet of paper in half, what do you get? Mm. Actually, we'll use this. Oh, you know what? Beep. I'm pushing buttons with my thing. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Perfect. Okay. Alright, so let's do. Eek, sorry, I hit my teacup. Just do this one here. And then. like the most planning I've ever done. That's too big. I do like that though. Okay. Alright. I'm trying. I have about three minutes left. I'm just, I can't see my timer because it's blacked out, but I can see the time that I've been recording and I know that I've I started the clock almost immediately. And like I said, these um, images here are from my kit, Birds of a Feather. Alright, so we're going to put this right like that. And then put that down there. Alright. And we're going to right there. I need to anchor that down so it stays so I can cut it. Alright. Scissors. And as you can see I'm reusing the same supplies instead of um, grabbing new supplies every single time. Um, there's a couple things with that. One, you don't have as many scraps if you do that because you're utilizing more of your materials. But also, when you do that, you will have more items that are, that correspond and go well with each other. You know what I mean? Just a smidge because I want it to not be on the birdie bird. Let's go this direction now. Because I don't mind if it overhangs here, but I think that if it overhangs there, it might be it might be too big to go into a journal. So if you keep it pretty standard size. Then you should be safe.
and say like this is just a little centerpiece to some sort of doily contraption that was cut apart. Again, I did not do the cutting. Nope, nope. I basically paid someone else to do it because you're paying for their services when you buy something like uh, this. Uh, I'm scared this timer's gonna go. It's gonna, it's gonna like startle me. Just gluing the edges now, and then we're done. Oh my goodness gracious! Great balls of fire! Don't touch the E6000. <laughs> it's sticky. <laughs> wow! I'm telling you, man, I am so jumpy. <laughs> Okay, so we didn't have nearly as much extra time with that one as we did with the letter A. But I think that we still did good because, I mean, we got them all done, right? That's, that's kind of the challenge is to do three different projects with the letter B or, you know, whatever letter ah, you so choose. Well, I guess that could be birds of a feather or, no, because I didn't do birds of a feather on the first one. I did my ladies on the, on the first one. So we have this little page here. Let me zoom y'all out just a smidge. Uh, come here, camera. Bloop, 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 bloop. There we go. So this is just a insert that goes into your journal. Very flat doesn't take up a whole lot of space that was my intention with that one because I like decorative pages like this but I want them to be flat so they don't take up a whole lot of space so if I wanted to I could write on the back of this because I, I really 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 like writing journals I have glue on my fingers which is what I'm like trying to get off my fingers it's just hot glue um, and then there's this one here I don't think it's quite glued yet side yeah we'll leave that sit for a second and then there's this one here which is goes in like this and this would probably go on like a cover or something because it would be too big to fit like that but if you made a bigger journal you could put it in like this or you could just use it as you know like a happy mail or um, you know whatever's whatever's you don't necessarily have to have function for all of your art pieces I am learning that um, it has taken me a long time to understand that you don't make things because they have a purpose or a function you make them because they're pretty and you like to make them. It doesn't matter what anybody else says. It's about what you want to do. And if you think it's pretty, then go for it. Anyway, this is the third one. Pocket here and glue pocket. Another pocket here. So those are the three bags that we did three different versions of bags anyway so that's it and i will see you guys later so thank you so much for watching hi baby mine just came home anyway thank you guys so much for watching and you guys have a wonderful day